Watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Happening now at 9 this Saturday evening, covering the entire DMV. 43 cars collide on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Over a dozen people sent to the hospital. Lanes now reopened after several hours shut down. The latest from police. They just grab stuff and run out. CVS closing more stores in the district just days after one location set to go dark from rising retail theft. What CVS says is the reason behind closing even more stores. An arena project pushback. Alexandrians upset with the prospect for a massive entertainment project that could house the Wizards and Caps. Their concerns tonight. And rain is moving in across the area. There's also a generalized aerial flood watch across the area. We'll talk about which counties are under that flood watch for how long and how much rain could fall in your backyard coming up. All right, thanks, Scott, and thank you for joining us for DC News Now at 9 o'clock. I'm Ben Dennis. We've got a live look right now at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge on the right portion of your screen. Reopen after westbound lanes were closed for around six hours today. Police say they believe 43 cars were involved in a chain reaction crash just before 20 more cars had collided. There were 22 initially. 13 people were sent to the hospital, two with serious injuries. Traffic is running in both directions on eastbound side at the time. The cause is still under investigation. D.C. police are investigating a shooting that left two young people hurt in southeast last night. We're told this happened around 10 p.m. on I Street. Police say an 18 year old man and woman were found shot there. Both conscious and breathing went to the hospital nearby. No word on their condition at this hour. Staying in the district, police are also investigating two other separate shootings left two men hurt overnight. Police say they got the first call for a shooting around 2:15 on L Street in Northwest. When they got there, they found a man shot, conscious and breathing. Then over in Northeast, police responded to a shooting about an hour and a half later on Downing Street. Police found a man who had been shot, also conscious and breathing. Both went to the hospital for treatment. Investigations are ongoing. Meantime, in Northern Virginia, folks in Alexandria pushing back on the Potomac Yards Entertainment District proposal. It looks to create a new arena that may house the Washington Wizards and Capitals if they left D.C. A town hall was just held today by the city to answer community questions. The protesters we spoke to say the area will not be able to handle a large number of people coming in for the games and events. Uh, it's not a me or you thing, it's uh, more um, to let them know a conglomerate just can't come and just take over a neighborhood, just flashing money and, and bad ideas. Trying to keep the community safe and secure from all this traffic that's going to come in if they put the stadium in. And it's just too much, it's too much. We already got too much things going on. Alexandria City Council's next town hall on that proposed arena project set for February the 1st. Officials will ask for a public input on how they can better manage transportation and traffic there. Time is 9 3 on the dot. Over to your weather now with Scott Sumner. Scott, we got a live look at the Pentagon. A little bit of a breeze out there, and it's that rain that's making its way through right now. Yeah, you know, I said it at uh, 6 o'clock that it'll be moving in around 8 o'clock, and sure enough, as you can see, that green band moving across and through all of northern Winch uh, northern in Virginia, there is Winchester, Barryville, there is the Northern Virginia line and in towards the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia is where we're starting to see some rain move in across portions of I-81 up to heading up towards Martinsburg and Hagerstown. We move from here down towards the D.C. area. Now we're starting to see some little bit of light rain down around Alexandria, uh, Arlington area. That's moving up through the district right now. And as we widen out our view, you can see the moderate rain is in the yellow. That's out towards the Cumberland Way. And as far as our future scan, well, we've got that moderate rain that's going to continue to move along I-81 in towards Pennsylvania. And all of this rain will continue to move further uh, up the I-95 corridor. We'll talk more about the rain and how much to expect for tomorrow coming up. All right, thanks, Scott. Turning now, more CVS pharmacies are closing around D.C. The announcement comes just days after CVS announced that their Columbia Heights location will close next month. That store has been plagued by shoplifting. But D.C. News Now's Dave Laval tells us that's not the case with the latest closings. The CVS pharmacy and the target behind me along George Avenue Northwest will close in March. The reason, according to CVS, is it's not needed. It's kind of inconvenient. Maris Koppelman is not happy the CVS pharmacy will close its doors for good March 14th. This is the only little one like within like a three or four block radius. And it's nice to have like a smaller one, but we'll find another one. This is not the only CVS inside a Target store on the closure list. 
The pharmacy inside the Target on Wisconsin Avenue in Tenley Town will also go March 7th. There's a CVS store located right across the street. The other pharmacy to close is the one inside the Ivy City Target on New York Avenue Northeast, February 29th. Same story there as there's a CVS nearby. The latest announced closings come just days after CVS said it will close its Columbia Heights location. The store has been the scene of rampant shoplifting. I said that they about to close this place. Crime is not the reason for the latest closings. CVS said it wants to reduce the number of stores and pharmacies that are close to each other. Mixed reaction from customers like Angel Crutchfield. There's one down the street and there's one also this way. So they're like within three minutes apart. I actually just moved. <laughs> so there's one like right near my new house. <laughs> but if I was still where I was at, I think I'd be a little frustrated because the next one I think is like a 25 minute walk. I don't have a car. Affected employees will be offered similar positions at other locations around the area. In the Shepherd Park community, Dave Laval, DC News Now. Our right, thanks to Dave tonight. Turning our focus to Maryland, Governor Wes Moore has announced his agenda for the state's legislative assembly. It includes 16 bills focused on increasing safety, affordable housing, and business opportunities. The governor has also revealed a proposal aimed at protecting construction workers. It would be done by increasing speed camera fines and work zones from $40 to $290. That would match the fine an officer would give for an in-person ticket. Drivers with three or more violations would face fines up to $1,000. The bill would also remove the requirement for speed cameras to be manned by an officer. And if you live in D.C., a few deadlines to keep in mind when it comes to health insurance and my school, D.C., the public school lottery for DCPS. D.C. News Now's Tosin Fakile is in the studio with the dates you need to know. Let's start with the closest deadline, and that's the one for health insurance for people who live in D.C. Wednesday, January 31st is the last day to enroll in a health plan. D.C. leaders are reminding people open enrollment continues until January 31st for the district's online state-based health insurance marketplace. You have until midnight January 31st. People can visit the website dchealthlink.com to check out health plans. And this weekend, there are events where you can go to talk Talk to health experts and enroll. One place you can do that is Ben's Chili Bowl on U Street Saturday and Sunday and Our Lady Queen of the Americas Catholic Church on California Street on Sunday. The next deadline you need to remember is for the My School DC Lottery for High School. That deadline is February 1st for the 2024-2025 school year. My School DC is a common application and public school lottery for all DC public schools and most public charter schools for PK-3 through the 12th grade. The random lottery determines placement for new students at all participating schools. You can apply at myschooldc.org. Now you can find more details on the in-person events to enroll for health insurance and more details on My School DC. You can find all that information on our website, dcnewsnow.com. In the studio, I'm Tosin Fakile. Back to you. Uh, thanks to Tosin. Today is also International Holocaust Remembrance Day. According to the U.S. Holocaust Museum here in D.C., the United Nations had designated that event January 27th as it marks the anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz con concentration camp. They say that today is the time to remember the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and the millions of other victims of Nazi persecution. President Biden speaking about today in part, we honor the courage of survivors and the heroism of people who bravely stood up to the Nazis, risking everything to save innocent lives. He also went on to say in the aftermath of Hamas vicious massacre, we have witnessed an alarming rise of despicable anti-Semitism at home and abroad that has surfaced painful scars from millennia of hate. It is unacceptable. And this is your last weekend to take advantage of Winter Restaurant Week in the DMV. The promotion was supposed to expire last weekend, but extended because of that snow we saw. The event offers lunch, brunch menus ranging from 25 to 35 bucks a person, dinner menus from 60 to from 40 to 65 dollars per person rather. Restaurants from across Maryland, Virginia and DC are participating. You can find a full list on our website, dcnewsnow.com. Even more deals, Alexandria's Restaurant Week is also ending this weekend. More than 70 places are participating. It runs through tomorrow. There are 30, 40, and $50 in-person dining options. Again, head to our website for more. And on the rails, Red Line passengers could run into some closures this weekend. Metro closing the Tacoma, Silver Spring, 
Wheaton and Glenmont stations while crews work on them. Shuttle service will replace trains along that stretch.